So as I said, I'm joined now by Simon Calder, the travel journalist and broadcaster. Simon, thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. So we've been moving the red list from 54 to 7. Yep. That's really good news. Yes. Uh, do you want to tell us about it? Well, exactly. It's going to welcome back people who are coming from South Africa, from Brazil, from Mexico, from Thailand, from Tunisia, from Indonesia, all these fantastic countries. Now, I was really interested in the interview this morning with uh, Grant Shapps, the mm. Transport Secretary, because he kind of seemed to be saying, oh, well, this is all because of uh, great vaccinations abroad. No, those countries don't, are, are no different than they were maybe a, a few weeks ago. Yeah. And the big question is how you can suddenly lose, I calculate, 87% of the countries on the red list. Yeah. Anyway, the government has done this. Um, it makes it sound as though everything is still really smooth and really easy, but in fact the UK is still a real outlier. So you can go to all these lovely places, and the main thing is, of course, it's going to make such a difference for families mm. who will now finally be able to be reunited. I've had so many stories of people in, yeah. in South America, in South Africa, cut off from their families. So that's that's great because it's effectively, you know, if you say £2,000, 11 nights in a hotel, that's effectively yeah. a travel ban. But you're still, when you come in, even if you've been fully vaccinated and even if it's in one of the minority of world's countries where the UK recognises your jabs, bear in mind that uh, most countries we say oh, don't, don't really like your jabs, yeah. they don't count. Yeah. Even then, you're still going to have to have a, a PCR test on day two. And that is going to turn into a lateral flow test. So a bit cheaper, a bit easier sometime in October. But we don't know when. And this plan that we heard about for videoing yourself taking the test, it seems to have disappeared. Yes. OK, so we've been finding out a little bit more about that. You're going to have to take some sort of picture. So it's really difficult. So to, not a video? Not a picture. video. No, no, no. Um, right. As you as you rightly suggest, mm. at one stage it appeared as though you you come back from your holiday, you put the kettle on, then you film yourself swabbing <laughs> your nose and your throat and you send it straight to Sajid Javid, yep. the health secretary. You're not going to have to do that. You are going to have to do something vaguely similar but it's very very odd because uh, the, if you've got a lateral flow test which is really quick really easy you could say well actually there's a case for testing everybody as soon as they come in you know it's going to need some resources but it will be 100 percent effective as opposed to this which i'm afraid is rather open to fraud and misrepresentation yeah absolutely you could take a photograph of somebody else's test and well, send it in and all of that sort of thing but in any event um i wanted to talk to you about the outbound travel industry here in the UK yeah. because a lot of our airports have lost billions oh, of yeah. pounds. Heathrow, yeah. it's something like £2.7 billion. Pounds. Yeah. Even Belfast International was posting today that they'd lost £30 million, which is huge. Oh, sure. For... And Belfast International yeah. is one of the star performers. Yeah. Um, there's very few of them, but it has actually increased. It's, it, it used to be ninth or tenth. It's now seventh, I believe, in terms of the uh, overall traffic in the UK. So they are doing relatively well and they're still losing yeah. you know, per passenger maybe um, uh, 20 pounds a go simply because they haven't got enough passengers. So, yeah, I've just heard from Jet2, the big uh, tour yeah. operator. They say we've seen an astonishing rise in sales. Having said that, where are we? We're sort of second week of um, October, just going into it. Yes, half term in England and Wales, mm. and that will do something, although it's kind of late notice. So they're just hoping for a good um, Christmas, New Year, and that things will finally be straight by next year. But uh, it's still so, so tough. And of course, the other side to that is you've talked about online booking there with Jet2, but our travel agents have had a horrific time. Oh, oh very horrific much so. time. Yeah. The, 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 uh, I, I, I can see some hope um, I, in, in the uh, future, which is that so many people who book things themselves to do it all online have come a cropper in so many different ways, typically going through an online travel agent mm. that didn't, uh, you know, didn't give them any refunds or response. I hope people will say, yeah, travel agents, they're good, aren't they? And, and they will actually see an increase in bookings. But, yeah, for, for travel agents, for anybody working at airlines, that um, they are having a horrible time. And I tell you what, even though it's been a bit of a sort of bumper summer in parts for the UK domestic travel industry, certainly Scotland's done pretty well. I've spent a lot of time in Northern Ireland. Um, you're not, uh, unfortunately, able to replace the Americans who would normally be yeah. coming in, spending loads of money, loads of time here. Yeah. And um just in relation to America, most of the countries that are still on the list are Central and Southern America. 
When do you think that's going to change? When do you think those people... Because there's quite a lot of people who have family oh, in, yeah. in Southern America. Oh, oh, you know, oh yes. You can't see them. Absolutely. So when huge, do you think that will change? A huge Colombian community, community yeah, for absolutely. example, just around where I live in South London. Um, and they are you know, very, very upset by this. I strongly predict, and you can hold me to this, <laughs> 28th of October. I think on that day, they will tear up the red list completely. They'll say, job done. Now, this is exactly what... Oh, we'll have to get you back in on that date now. Well, you will. <laughs> um, but exactly um, uh, 10 days ago, uh, the Republic of Ireland said, we've had a look, we can't see any point in having a red list, so it's all gone. And by the way, anybody who's in hotel quarantine, we're going to let them out now. Unfortunately, people who are coming in or in hotel quarantine in the UK, they're going to be staying there till they've served yeah. their full sentence. And we've talked a lot about going on holidays and reuniting families again. But, of course, everybody's been engaging in staycations this yes. year, Simon, including yourself. Oh, gosh. I, You've I've, seen a bit of the countryside. I, I have. Look, it, it, it's been, in many ways, a really good journey of discovery for me and I hope lots of other people. Mm. And because places like Cornwall have been completely oh, yes. full, mm -hmm. um, it's been great because I've been obliged to go off and search other places. I mean, uh, since the... Uh, the pandemic began. I've been on holiday to Northern Ireland three times. What an absolute joy. Um, I can't wait, actually, to get back there. Scotland, Wales, all gorgeous. And it's just a matter of finding um, uh, those, those places, maybe a little bit off the beaten track where you can have a lovely time.